Today I'm going to make a spring tonic from a very well-known plant that you will all know. First of all though, what is a spring tonic? For me, a spring tonic is basically any plant or anything you can get or make from a plant or tree that helps your body to recover in terms of health from its winter eating. Now traditionally, going back a long time, our winter eating might have involved a very bland diet and lots of dried and preserved foods. And of course nowadays, our winter eating, especially for those of us who live in places like the UK with a very dark, cold winter, might involve a lot of comfort foods like very fatty and carb loaded foods and so spring tonics help us to recover from that kind of eating and really help to reignite and set our health up again for the year ahead. I did of course do a video on burnt sap recently which is a good example of a spring tonic but this is another one and very easy to make. The idea for this actually came from somebody who attended one of my courses recently. Of course they came on a course to learn from me but I actually ended up learning something from them because they were the one who suggested this and it's not something I had actually ever heard of before. So I did a bit of research and here we go. So we're going to make a cold infusion from this plant here which has lots of different common names including goosegrass and cleavers. So all you need to do is to collect a bunch of the shoots in spring. Obviously in spring they'll all be quite young like this which is what you want. I'm then just going to give the plant a good wash and give a good rinse to all the leaves. So all we're going to do now is to put the leaves into some kind of drinking glass. So all we need to do is shove in pretty much as much as you can get in. You don't have to cram them right in but just comfortably nice and full like that. I have just pushed them down a little bit further and now all we need to do is fill it up with water. Now of course you can use tap water but I'm actually going to use spring water just for added health benefits. All I'm going to do now is leave that in the fridge overnight and then it should be ready. It's now been in the fridge overnight so I'm just now going to strain off the leaves and then drink the liquid. And there we go. Look at the colour. A lovely golden yellow vibrant colour. I appreciate that might not look appetising to a lot of you. It might remind you of certain unpleasant bodily substances but to me I know what it is. I think it's a lovely colour so let's drink it. Bottoms up. Bear in mind I've never had this before so let's see. Do you know, I'm actually surprised at how nice that tastes. And don't get me wrong, it's not like mind-blowingly amazing or anything, but it's like a very refreshing, very invigorating, garden pea-flavoured water. That's the best way I can describe it. Almost an element of sweetness to it, yeah. I am genuinely surprised at how pleasant that is. I recommend it because it is supposedly very good for you, a proper spring tonic, and traditionally it's meant to be very good for the lymphatic system in particular.